hi welcome back to my channel if you don't already know me i'm Shade. on my channel i do a lot of diy cleaning bits of home content lifestyle if you just like a lot of content and a little bit of everything then make sure to subscribe it's actually probably been like more than a year that i've done a cleaning video and i don't know why i think it's because they're really difficult to film for me but nevertheless it's the content we know and love, so I'm here to do that today. If I'm being totally honest, my kitchen is disgusting. It is disgusting. Can you hear the tone of my voice? Can you see my face? <laughs> it doesn't feel nice. I don't like being in here. I don't like cooking in here. I'm going to act as if I'm moving out and I'm going to box everything up in the cupboards. I mean, every single cupboard. I kind of distribute things into like charity shop bags for things that I don't use anymore, like utensils and crockery and bloody George Foreman things that I don't use. Non-perishable foods into bags for food banks. Because for some reason, like things like baked beans in curry sauce that Rob bought and thought he would eat one day and they've been there for like six months. So um, we're not gonna eat them, but I wanna make sure someone um, finds them helpful. So yeah, and on top of that, it's just gonna be really good to just declutter things. I am not a hoarder at all. I don't know if it's a strength or a weakness. I'm not a hoarder and I'm very cutthroat when it comes to, get, to getting rid of things. We're gonna probably get rid of a lot of stuff today, but obviously we're gonna be donating it. So we're not gonna be just throwing anything out. So with that being said, before we get into the video please like and subscribe if you haven't already this is just a bit of a fun video you know so let's just get into the montage and i hope that you enjoy don't hide away from me when i need you most we got love guarantee and i have to know i'm definitely gonna need some music on i already feel so much more peaceful and clean now that those prints are gone, that shelf's gonna go too. Just opens the space up much more. What should we listen to? Gold edition, Usher, Party Next Door, Rihanna, The Weeknd. First song, When I See You. <laughs> you know, why is that not paying for my phone? Better nights, better days, when you're here with me, babe. Cause you're all I crave, so I wonder. When I need you most, we got love guaranteed, and I have to know. Say, don't be so hard to reach. Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Next thing I'm gonna do is clean the cupboard at the top. I sprayed it down just now with some Zaflora anti-back spray, but I have a feeling that's not gonna work, so I'm gonna grab some of the pink stuff, a scrub daddy, some marigolds, and I'm gonna put some elbow grease in. That has made the world of difference. Oh my god, I feel like that's even probably gonna affect how the kitchen smells. But you don't realise there's like grease harbouring up there. Like we deep fry stuff from time to time as well, so there's literal like grease <laughs> evaporating in the air, clinging onto the top of these cupboards. It's disgusting. I soaked it all with the disinfectant, so I'm gonna go around quickly and soak all the rest of the cupboards because that came up so quickly, and I'm assuming that helped somewhat. Soaked this, wrung it out a little bit, then scrubbed, came off so easily. Use this to wipe off the excess, then use this just to kind of dry it all down and get it clean. Let me grab my camera and do it before and after. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. I think it's mainly dust, but if you touch it, let me see. I can, this is so gross. Like, are we focused? Look at that. Nasty. So that's all the way around and I can feel the grease, it's pretty gross. And then this is the one that I've just cleaned. There's um, like sticky residue from I think just tape and stuff from when the builders put them in, but it's just so different, it's shocking. And look at that, and then look at that. Oh, clean the tops of your cupboards guys. Clean them, I can't wait to clean the insides as well. Something about you, something about you. The most inside my mind. 
maybe it's a sign Cause it's Hello, so this next section, I, by the way, don't mind this, I've just been to Give Blood. You should definitely consider it, it was my first time and it was really good and I'm going to continue to do it. I get to do it three times a year, so just throwing that in there. I am about to start cleaning the cupboards. When I walked into the kitchen, because I haven't been in the house for about two hours, it smelled phenomenal. So honestly, cleaning the tops of your cupboards, oh, so good. We've got a bunch of food in here. This is kind of like our uh, like dry pastas, rices sort of thing cupboard. And I'm pretty happy with how, how that is. Like, I don't mind that being there at all. But what I want to do is actually, like, take it all out, clean it, wipe all of it back down, and then put it back in the cupboard. Just so there's no excessive smells or anything like that. Um, and I'm going to do that for all of the cupboards. And I've got, I'm going to have a bag for non-perishable food that I want to donate. And I'm going to have a bag of, like, stuff to give to charity shops. mugs that I'm going to be donating here and here. I actually already went through all of my mugs about six weeks ago and donated about like 15 mugs but I've since realised we just still have so many and I don't need these ones. This is a really cute Santa one though. I'm going to be sad to see that one go but yeah these are for donations so I'm going to put those in the donation bag. The next thing to do is tidy um through my kind of baking and bread and coffee cupboard we've got a lot of like hot drinks that i just don't think are very necessary uh, and then i would like to also clean the fridge but similarly i actually did that a couple of weeks ago so it might be just a case of getting rid of some food that's maybe just gone off and um we can't utilize anymore and then it's onto the lower cupboards so yeah let's get cracking with that Just fine, but I'm here now. I'm a little bit late from the rerun. A cup of 
sweaters on my eyes, can you see now? And I feel just fine. And I feel, and I feel just fine. I'm in my element now. Do you know when you, you kind of have a new thought come in your head and you're like, oh my god, this really excites me? Putting the plates and stuff here has made me so excited. And I don't know why. It's so much easier. Every time we need to go for a, a plate, we've got to like bend down, like get under, stick your head in. It's so annoying. Now I'm going to display them all here and hopefully make them look really nice and they're very much more accessible. And then that means in this cupboard under here is going to be simply things like Pyrex dishes, cake tins, rice cookers, things that we don't necessarily reach out to every single day and it's hopefully going to free up a lot of space so it's not going to be so cluttered under there as well let's get to put in all of the denby stuff i'm going to put the plates here bowls and then maybe small plates and then we'll figure out if we need to swap anything around if it's like taking up too much room how exciting i love when stuff like this happens it makes me so happy okay. a couple of the plates are still in the wash but as you can see we've got the two sets and yeah i'm really happy with those the bowls we've got these kind of small ramekins i'm actually going to keep hold of these because we do use them for sauces and random things sometimes and we don't need to get rid of everything so i'll just pop those in there i know it kind of kills the vibe but yeah i'm really happy with that and that's so much more functional now how did we not do this before girl i see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there because everything reminds me of you i can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you I can't take no more I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me I'ma do everything for you, I don't want anyone but you Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me Can we stop the clock and rewind, go back to that moment in time When you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? Talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me What you need from me Need your love on me Put your love on me I'ma do everything for you I don't want anyone but you Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me
side and I've done to about here now I can kind of tell from the camera this side's a little bit warmer and that's because there's obviously dirt on the floor but if you get a little bit closer can you see how these joint lines here one two three are so much more prominent than the joint lines over here because I've literally scrubbed them so much they're kind of like back to clear non-existent now whereas these ones are harboring a lot of the dirt especially in the corners and then I wanted to show you this over here. I feel like you can actually see a line of differentiation right there. Like you don't even need to squint or anything. Like I've scrubbed up to there, up to that point. And this laminate here is like brown to gray. Can you see that? So yeah, um, I've used a concoction of, I added this in afterwards, this Dettol multi-action cleaner. And I think it's helped to make it a little bit more like foamy, um, but not too foamy, just enough to kind of get a bit of soap going on to get the, the dirt out so it's not just like water. I am absolutely sweating. Um, it does take a lot of work out of you. Um, just make sure you wear marigold and I've got some old dirty clothes on these like my DIY clothes because I didn't want to wear anything like nice because I am getting dirty and sloppy and sweaty and all of that stuff. But anyway, I'm going to carry on and I'm actually going to carry on all the way through to the hallway. <laughs> Bless me, and into my bathroom. Ooh. It's going to be a long day of scrubbing, but once that is done, um, I'm going to wipe down the, the bottom cabinet and pretty much finished. So I 